Hello, Brian from Workspace Admins here. Uh, today we'll take a look at uh, BigQuery Log Export from uh, Google Admin Console. So sometimes you may get asked some questions about what were the most popular job items in the past year. So these are some of the, or that is one of the questions you can answer once you have your uh, BigQuery uh, export set up. So it is found under reporting BigQuery Log Export. So we already have it set up. So we have a project, uh, WA for Workspace Admins, uh, Workspace Logs, and we have a data set in there called Service Logs. So if you have the ability to create a GCP project within your organization, uh, you can create a new project. Otherwise, you can find out uh, who your project creators are within your organizations and ask them to create one for you or give you the ability to create a new project. So that can actually be found in uh, GCP console, which you can access by going to console.cloud.google.com. So you will click on the hamburger menu, I am an admin and I am, and then you can then select the other, uh, your project or the organizational node for us uh, that has the building icon or everyone will have a building icon followed by the primary domain. So as you can see here, we have a Google group. So indicated by a group icon uh, GCP admins at workspaceadmins.org, uh, which has the uh, project creator role. So by default, everyone in the organization will have the ability to create a project and a billing account. Uh, so, But if those permissions have been removed, uh, you can identify uh, who your project creators are. If you are the org admin, you can give yourself the ability to uh, create a project. So we'll just uh, switch over to uh, BigQuery now. So we'll go to BigQuery. SQL Workspace. So we'll just uh, select the our project. So as you can see, we have Gmail log and service log. So Google is actually merging the two. So previously you had to set up a separate uh, log export for Gmail, but Google has since changed it. So if you already have, have it set up, uh, Google has uh, some uh, documentation on how to move the logs over from Gmail log table over to service log table. But if you click on the activity table here, you can already see that Gmail uh, events have been coming in. So right now what's happening for us is that Google is writing to both tables. So uh, without going further into the details, we'll just uh, provide some additional uh, links to uh, the announcement and the support article in the video description. Uh, but for us, our uh, primary uh, events that we want to take a look at are the drive log events. So I'll just uh, find the drive here. So we have the doc ID, obviously ID of the file, uh, some information about the users, document types, uh, titles, uh, the domains, etc. So we have the activity table here and we also have a data set uh, so we create another data set called views uh, where I am creating some uh, views where I can. So as you, uh, so if I go back to the activity table, it is a very large table. So views are just to uh, simplify some of that. So I'm pulling in the dates, IDs and the titles. So I'll just click on the details here. So you can see the query that I put together. So I'm basically extracting the date. So I am uh, just converting that to just a uh, year, month, date. So I'm in uh, Calgary, so I'm using Edmonton as a time zone and pulling the document ID and the title. And we are looking at the events after uh, January 1st, and then I'm saving this, saving this as a view. So if I go click on query, I'll just do it in a split tab. So I can just do select star and run it. So you can see here, uh, so this is not aggregated by any means. So I have all the events uh, in uh, ascending order. So uh, I can see the, all the individual events, but I may want to group it by uh, doc ID. So I'll just do group by two. Actually, I'm not a SQL expert. Uh, so let's go over to uh, some of the other things that you can do once that BigQuery export is set up. 
So I already have a connected sheet. So I did data connectors, uh, connected BigQuery. So that's already been done. So we have this, uh, uh, this one is connected directly to looks like uh, the activity table. But I have created a uh, pivot table here. Uh, so we'll just uh, edit this pivot table so you can see what I did. So again, similar to what uh, we had in the BigQuery view, I'm looking at the document ID and the title because the uh, titles can change, IDs cannot. So we have it. Uh, so the first column will be the document ID. The second column will be the title. And values are the event names on MVR just accounting uh, the uh, events. And then text is view. So we are looking at all the view events for, uh, for our files. So as you can see, um, most popular file in our domain for workspace admins is the Google Workspace Editions comparison. So this is a file that I had initially created with my personal Gmail account and then moved into a shared drive. So this is looking at all the events. So that file looks like it's been viewed uh, 62,000 times. I'll just refresh the table and see if that's gone up. So it's running a query. Yeah, so it's been viewed uh, 62,701 times uh, as of this morning. So that's one way of looking at the data uh, once uh, the BigQuery uh, export is set up. So the other way is connecting the your data to uh, Google's Looker Studio, formerly Data Studio. So if I look at Manage Data Sources, so Drive View Events uh, is a BigQuery data source, and this one is connected to the connected the view uh, that I created, rather than the actual activities table. So again, uh, dates are aggregated, um, or we are just uh, getting the exact date. So year, month, date, uh, IDs and the titles we're pulling in. So I have a, I'll just close this. I just have a, a graph of uh, all the events. So we are, we are looking at some of the dates where we had a lot of views. So it looks like June 1st, uh, there were a lot of views uh, in our domain. Similarly, we, we had another high view sometime in early December. Maybe those files are uh, with the, um, for the SKU comparison sheet. So this one is only looking at the events uh, in the past or this year, or let's just see this year to date. So it will take a while. So this year, the most popular file was the uh, Google Workspace Editions comparison sheet viewed 30, 38,000 times. So you can see uh, we had events that, uh, that peaked uh, in June and December. So we can narrow down to a specific date and see what most popular files were. And yeah, th so those are some of the questions you can ask. I had a another saved query here somewhere. Uh, well, actually I do have a saved query. Yeah, so let's take a look at it. Okay, so yeah, so this is the query that I wanted to run. So this one is looking at document ID, title, event name, and the total count. And we are grouping by ID, title, and event name. And ordering by uh, for descending, so the total count. So. Let's take a look. Yeah, so yeah, this is the um, what I wanted to look at. So again, we have the total count here, which matches the information in the school sheet. So we are looking at most popular file in our domain is by far the workspace editions comparison sheet, but this one had a file name change, so it's been viewed about 67,800 times, or 900, rather. So th these are some of the questions you can ask uh, once you have the BigQuery log export set up, whether it's uh, data related to drive, data related to tokens, so if you wanted to look at uh, API calls being made by a service account, which would be only possible if you were on enterprise tiers, unfortunately. 
or some of the other questions uh, related to Gmail, if you wanted to look at IP addresses or email authentication or things like that. Uh, those are some of the uh, questions you can think of. If there's any specific query, queries or data you want to take a look at, leave us uh, comments below and give us a like and uh, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.